David Angel. Welcome to Entrepreneur Talks podcast run by Women Flix. Hi, thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome, David. I know I'm so excited to have you here and hear about your story, your journey. So, <laughs> so let's start for saying, uh, if you can tell me, first of all, where are you talking from? So I'm in, <coughs> excuse me, I'm in Hampshire in England, uh, so over in the UK, so on the south coast uh, of England, um, enjoying the life. That's amazing. Oh, I'm in London. I'm in UK as well. So we are born in British um, islands, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereabouts in London are you? Sorry? Whereabouts in London are you? West London. Kew Bridge. Oh. Oh, right, okay. Those to Kew Gardens, yeah, I can walk to Kew Gardens, so nice. Kew Bridge, yes, it's really good. I never thought like it's so much people coming every day, even with the COVID, was queues on the Kew Garden, and I'm like, why are these people is here? Everyone with masks, but huge yeah. queues, like they go Everyone's around. It's crazy still. No one's changing, are they? <laughs> But it's a lovely place, and maybe because it's fresh, it's, uh, it's natural stuff, so people just... Yeah, maybe. <laughs> there we go. So, let's start talk about yourself. Who is David Angel? This is your real name, right? <laughs> yeah. A Angel in name. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so I'm a sales and business coach, so I specialize in helping everything from single entrepreneurs, new startups, to seasoned companies, standalone salespeople, sales teams, people that are business owners trying to generate more income. Um, and I've been, I've, been, I've been in sales for 20 years. And I think if you've done anything of any level for 20 years, you should have some knowledge that you can pass on to other people. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah, so now, and now, especially with the way things are in the world, a lot of people are either there's more competition out there in business so people want their skills to be sharper or a lot of people are changing the environments or industries they're setting up their own business or trying to work from home i find a lot of people now especially sales teams are working from home so they're not in the environment of being in an office so companies hire me to do like we're doing now but help with teams um to actually become more effective at what they do right yes Yes, totally. And how long? So you you got the knowledge. You've been in the in the in this industry for more than twenty years. But mm -hmm. when did you start your own company? So I've been a sales coach. I've had a number of businesses over the years, um, and I've been coaching for God, a long time. I've coached my own teams, and I've coached teams for other companies as well. It's been years. Oh, wow. uh, I've always been a good student, and I think that's one of the big things. Where most coaches that are of any substance and any quality they've always been a good student and over yeah. time if you're a student long enough as you learn other people are coming in behind you so as your knowledge grows you're passing that knowledge on um so i think anytime anybody is a big student they're always going to be someone who's going to be effective um with knowledge but i think the big term for a lot of people is a lot of people aren't good at handing that knowledge back to other people we're good at remembering things same as driving we might all don't have to drive a car, but teaching someone else can be very different, can't it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So it's been a long time, like you mentioned. And what is your type of clients? They mix? It varies. It, uh, one, one fantastic thing about what I do is it really varies. So I have people that are network marketers, um, that have got teams of people in different countries. I've got people that are life coaches. I've got sales teams in companies. So at seven o'clock today, I'm talking to um, a company on Zoom that's got 35 affiliates. Oh, so wow. I'm there helping all of them uh, do things. I've got clients that are single entrepreneurs that have got a business they're setting up and now they're working how to navigate through the problems. Um, the one big thing, which is similar to all of them, everyone in those areas, they need sales for their business. Um, you don't really have much of a business without sales, do you? Yes. And what is the... So I know you are an expert, so you can tell me and to my listeners as well. What is the what is the, the game behind? When we say sales, when yeah. we say 
we have to get sales on our business. What exactly is behind that word sales? A huge amount, far more than we'll get through in an hour. But this is one of the interesting <laughs> things with it is a lot of people start with things and they do it the wrong way around. A lot of people, they'll spend a large amount of time for an entrepreneur, for example, will spend years creating a product and mastering their product. Right. And it comes to the stage, but a lot of the time people think because you've got a great product, that automatically you deserve good sales. But in business, as in life, it's not about what you deserve or what's worthy. That's not what you necessarily get. It's what you go out and achieve. So with sales, it's bridging the gap from what is a product and a service and the client and navigating all those, because they're always moving. Each client's different and um, each different prospect and their needs. Mm -hmm. So with sales, you're filling in the blanks and you're showing people how to go from where I am now to the other side. And this is a wide range. It, at the moment, a huge, a huge thing for a lot of people is selling in the DMs. And a lot of people are sending, I've got people that are a generational gap where in their 50s, that are now trying to sell in the DMs and they're almost using a format like they would with email, which obviously is not going to work. Right. This is obvious to me because I'm there. But saying, well, you can't do it like that doesn't make sense. So what then you have to do is navigate in a way that will make sense to that user on how to change, how to make it more conversational, how keeping short, simple questions to know where people are in the process and how to adapt on each way. Um, being in sales is something where you're fulfilling a need and normally it's going to be you're fulfilling a, fixing a problem or you're fulfilling a desire. Right. So the main two reasons that people will buy is from either a fear of loss or a desire for gain. So if you look at a business that I've talked to a company at the moment and their sales teams are doing well, but they know they could be doing a lot better. But they've got them to a stage they're at now with their expertise. And then it takes someone like me to come in to help them get to that next level. So oh, this will be things from small tweaks in the way that they work, questions that they ask, um, way that they follow up with a deal that doesn't come through. And all these processes can take a huge amount of trial and error. Right. And I think with a coach, what happens is I've made a huge amount of mistakes in my life. Massive. And... I've learned a lot of ways that work and I've learned a lot of ways that don't work. And what I do is I go to companies and go, right, I can show you my 20 years of experience and then go, well, what about this? Well, I've tried that here and this is what happened. It what works. about this? Well, yeah, this works. Yeah. So we can finite it. So what this does, it takes the learning curve of a business that might take you a year to get to and you can get there in a couple of months right. because we can score off a lot of the things or we can test them, but with a warning light on saying, well, this didn't work for X company, but it could work for you. So let's try a little bit on that. Rather than a lot of people will spend six months trialing something and trialing it without the rewards. And then desperation sets in and they're just draining of money. So true, and the yes. team becomes demoralized. Um, but if you can get people in and give them even slight improvements on a weekly basis, but keep that consistent, People see a massive difference. So it comes from every angle, really, from mindset, skills, processes. All these areas need tweaks normally. Thank you so much. Thank you for answering that question in so many details because it's really, <laughs> it's really it's, it's a huge, it's a huge planet. Mm. Yeah, like the self, the self. We can call it planet because there's a lot of things to work on. But Massively. one thing that while you were talking, I was just thinking, what do you find easier or maybe you don't find easier is mm -hmm. working with a company on that kind of uh, on your uh, when you come in, do you prefer to work with a company that is already established or a new company that doesn't know how to sales work so you can act in a different it's a fantastic way. question and it's very much down on the company. Um, when you've got something that's completely new, it depends on the people you're dealing with. If you're dealing with a small company that's new, but they are enthusiastic, they're driven and they take advice, then right. that's great. But on the flip side, you can go to some businesses and I'll talk to them and they, they want help, but they're not prepared to do the actions that are needed. So that can be a bit of a struggle. 
But on the other side, you can go to a big company that's established, and actually, if the management level don't, um, if I bring in changes and I say, well, if you do this, you'll get these results. But if the management don't then make sure that happens, or if the team don't believe in it and they only do it half effort, so there's lots of spinning plates that are always going to go on. One of the big things is it's helping the people. So if you're with a big company, it can take a, while, uh, a bit longer to, you can get instant results because say if you've got 20 people, it's easy to see a 10% increase across the board, which makes a lot more money. But when it gets to the stage after a few months, because there'll always be some people that don't want change, some people that really want change, but they don't action it right. So you're then managing lots of little plates that you're spinning. But in a smaller business, you can come in and go, okay, if you start, because we're small and we put the processes in place, as they grow, they can just take each process and establish it. Um, one of the big things now I find, like we said earlier, with the platform which I've got, because it can have separate users, so as a company grows, when they bring a new starter in, they can just give them access to the platform and they can just learn the same processes that the other people already know. Oh, that's and I think that's one of the big things is when people come into a business, they get trained up by people in the business, which most of the time, the people that are doing the training don't want to train. They want to do their job, but because they're good, the boss says, I'll train them up for me. So then that person doesn't necessarily get everything that they need. So it's more about the needs of each business, the way each business works, and the people that are there, because people are, are what make a business. A product makes you sales, but people are the difference between it winning and losing, really. Wow, you're so fantastic, David. I, I can I can truly see that you know what you're talking about. And <laughs> Thank I'm you. I'm feeling like, oh, I need you to check my, my company as well. <laughs> it's funny, the amount of times that I go on to this, and a lot of people, I, I've done, I think 40 something podcasts in the last two months and a huge amount have ended up planning into getting clients. clients and students because people are like oh yeah well we spoke about this and actually this could be good and this could work so it's great it's good for me and it's good for because like people that are listening to this now people suddenly think oh actually yeah that could work because yes what we do right now we do based on our knowledge so no one does something wrong on purpose we're doing it because that's what we think is right. So sometimes just hearing it in a slightly different way makes our brain think, ah, oh, actually, I even if it's not my way, it might be a twist on what I do or a slight change that will give you the trajectory you need to really excel. That's so true, yeah. Do you have a, do you teach and via, via video? Do you have a yes. YouTube or? So, well, yeah, so there's, there's a few different ways that I do things. So I took all my knowledge and I put it onto a platform where people can act it and it's all interactive. So you don't need me in your pocket all the time. So especially if I've got people in America, jumping on Zoom isn't practical every day. So that means that they can access here with 400 videos from prospecting to closing all the way through. Um, but it also means if you've got a team of people, each person can have access and learn at different levels at each time. So if one person is good at objection handling, they can focus on the follow-up. Someone who's good at follow-up can be up. So it means that people can train at that level. And then I jump on a call normally every week or every two weeks to do live training as well. So it means people have got best of both worlds. Fantastic. Mm, I like that. I can bring my team to your, to your platform then. Yes. So literally, so say if you've got a team, how many people do you have in your team? So let's say four people, five with me. Okay, cool. So this is exactly the way it works. So say for example, you're looking to train your team up. If you hire a training officer for your business with four people, that's a huge expenditure, but you don't necessarily want all the time. So this means you lower your costs, right. but it means you get more. Because then what happens is, say you've got your master access, and then you've got all four users below, you can see who's logged on, how many times they've logged on, how many chapters they've completed. So if you see that John's making loads of mistakes and objections, you know what to focus on John with. Correct. You can see yeah. that Julie's doing really well with follow-ups, so you know she doesn't need that. So it means uh, in a snapshot, you can see what they're doing. 
and then on a weekly oh. basis or yeah so and it gives that repetition and that's the thing we need to do. you think about when you're at school how many times you did your abc's yes i mean we didn't just learn the alphabet once when we were two and we remembered it it took a while and it's exactly the same with sales so if you were going to train all four of those people in your office that takes up a lot of your time so you outsource it to someone like me yeah. and you don't even need to think of you can just look once a week you can just check to make sure everyone's logged on or you can just say to people in the morning do 15 minutes before you get on the phone yes. and then you can carry on doing your work while the training is going on which means you're then more effective which is the best way and it's also somewhere like we can bring the i can check and then bring into our meetings because exactly because I'll you've got it all on, you've got it all on the screen so you can just say if I, i know a company at the moment they have a target but it's not on a daily basis <laughs> but they want their team to do an hour's training a week and they said you can do that on a sunday if you want or yeah. you can do 15 minutes a day so then you go on a sunday and while you're prepping for your monday meeting and you go on and go okay well john's done eight hours great he's passed all this uh, sarah's only done 30 minutes so you could just send a quick email hey sarah just doing the stats it looks like you've been on for 30 minutes which is great but you looks like you've failed on a couple of injections can you just make sure you're doing them before tomorrow or for next week so then in one email you're managing to manage your guys and if there's a problem so i had a guy the other day who was really struggling on objections so when we've jumped on the zoom call we focus that time on one-on-one -on -one time where actually we role played on the phone so i tend to be the customer he tends to be the prospect and i'll go okay well that works so let's try this and then after that call bang they go off and get a deal they feel happy and your oh, team just amazing. love it that's amazing and then so you you told you you're talking about times like i can when i get into the platform so i can also schedule the times that i want people want to, to study or if it's a half an hour you can plan it they'll have access so they can access it from their phone uh -huh. from a desktop a laptop and what happens is <laughs> it's all on one platform so say if you've got it now when you log in it pops up with a video of me um talking you through what's going on and then all that happens is you can go through you've got all the chapters and you can access it and then as the boss you can see who's went on how many chapters they've completed how many times they've logged on into and it gives you a breakdown so it's really good for it's good for staff because mm -hmm. they get to learn and excel without having to sit in a classroom environment which a lot of people don't like yes these days then also for a manager so you can keep an eye on it without them knowing your like not that you're sneaking around but without you going what have you done how much have you done what you can just look and see ah because at, at the end of most sections there's a question you have to answer and if they don't answer it correctly they can't progress uh, yes so this means right. if you see they've completed all of the objections you know they've gone through it and got it right If you know they're getting stuck, you know where to go to them. You can work with them. So it means you can be very pinpoint on the training you give and all the generic training gets done by me. That's amazing. And there is for the subscription to this platform or what people need to do, what 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 we need to do to get in. Well, the good thing we've done is I've set up at the moment to show people in more detail. So I've I've took part of the videos, so I wrote a couple of ebooks anyway. And on the platform, I've opened up free access so people can get on there. You can get 10 of the videos and you can download the ebooks and you can see all the content that's there. You just can't watch it, the rest of it. Um, and you can do that. And I, I've sent the link on to you. So literally anyone who wants to go on there, you can literally click on, they can get the free content. They can read the books for free. And then if people want to do it, they can click a button, get a call back or just send me a message um, and, and book in for a call. Like we're having now um, and really get more specific i've got some companies that i do literally an hour a week every week with okay I've got other people that i do a call every two weeks with other people just get the access to the platform so it depends on what people's budget are what they're looking to get out of it uh um, and really if it's a good fit for them is a basically is a specific need for each company each person each business everyone wants sales and it comes down to What are people prepared? If you've got a goal of becoming, I don't know, a millionaire is your goal. You need to work backwards on, well, how much do I need to earn? How much do I need to save? That's easy to work out. As a business, it's a lot harder to go, okay, well, we want to get to here. 
but you don't know all the individual pain points. So then someone like me comes in and we can go through a series of questions on where we are and I can get an overview and go, actually, well, these areas are fine. This right. area here, we need to do this. Actually, we need to get more um, overall training for all your staff on a daily basis or actually your staff's doing really well. What we need to do is make them accountable on a weekly basis and then you can tailor it around what you need so that you get the results that you want out of it and your team get the right. training they need. Yeah, got it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Happy. you so much. Must be amazing to have classes with you, David. I, <laughs> I can feel when, that. Whenever you're ready, just let me know and we'll get something sorted out. It's great. Yeah. And this is what I think when you do something that, that you love, yeah, it seems so much easier. I mean, it's for a lot of people, they've struggled with corona and lockdown. <laughs> and I like being in the classroom with people. It's great. But this really enables you to have so many more clients because I can be talking to you and your team in London. I can get off, have a coffee, and then I can jump on a call with someone in America. Yeah. And that freedom means that people don't have to pay you anywhere near as much either because they're paying for the time they've got rather than they usually, they're, they're, for a lot of people, they have to pay a day rate because if I've got to travel to Birmingham, then actually by my two hours travel, yeah. two hours travel back, the time I'm there, you can't really see people. But if you're only on the phone for an hour on a Zoom call, that means you can help five, 10 people a day, yeah. which it, it, it makes such a big difference. Yes, totally. Uh, and I agree because we also been doing that during the COVID because it's been amazing. We can say nothing can, I can't complain because that's a really good way to work with other clients around the Massively. world. Massively. Massively around everywhere, anywhere, instead mm -hmm. of driving or getting out from my place. I'm so used to now because we used to go out actually for meetings, but but now is everything more into Zoom. It works. I think now everyone's used to it. Most businesses, especially in a sales type environment, if you were coming to me at my at my office, I've got to make sure that I'm ready half an hour before. I can't book a meeting in case it goes over. Yeah. And then you book out half an hour after. So one hour meeting really is two hours from your calendar. But on a Zoom call, it's very simple where you can go, right, well, we've got from 12 to 1. At 10 to you start wrapping it. You get everyone gets so much more organized. Yeah. Because if me and you were on a call now and I had another one at 10 past two, we can quietly say, listen. We, I've got another call at 10 past. Why don't we jump on the phone and get a half free? Yeah. So you can actually just get so much more um, productive work done. It's so true, yeah. yeah. It's so much nicer. Fantastic. So we're coming to an end <laughs> with this. I didn't check the time, but it, I know it's the end is coming. So my last question is, how can people connect with you and find more about your work? Okay. The easiest way, I, I post every day. Um, so you can get free content on my Insta, my Facebook. Insta's the best. Um, and just search the Sales Angel. Um, I'm going to send you the link for access to the platform. Or just go to thesalesangel.com um, and you can get in touch with me there. I'm always on social media. So people can just send me a message and just Fantastic. have a chat because there's so much out there for us. Fantastic. Thank you, David. All your information, I will make sure, is on the description of the podcast. This gotcha. is for my listeners to know that they can connect with you straight away when they see this podcast live. <laughs> Thank you once again. And Thanks for having me. I want, I'm sure we're going to keep in touch, and I want to know more about this platform for me. Let me know anytime. <laughs> well, you've got the link, so you've got to press it now, and you'll be on. Yes, I will be straight away after this conversation. You take care. and. Fabulous. Continue to building massively people <laughs> around the globe, like helping other people that. and teaching the way you teach because it's amazing. It was an amazing opportunity to have you here and listen your 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 knowledge, your your wisdom about sales. So fabulous. Thank you for having me. Thank you too. Take care. <laughs>